why you're absolutely getting no views on TikTok. Now, if you're watching this video, you're either a 13 year old kid and you're bored and you want clout, or you're not 13 years old and you've downloaded TikTok out of peer pressure so you could stay relevant with the kids. Well, let me tell you guys, I am the other demographic and I know what it feels like to hover around a few hundred views or even zero views, just feel frustrated. In today's video, I will tell you guys the secrets of why you're not growing on TikTok and also insight on what shadow banning is. Shadow banning is sometimes one of the biggest reasons why accounts don't grow and not too many people know about how to solve it. So today I'm going to go over all these key things and at the end of the lesson you'll have clarity on why you're still not relevant and doing all the dances but it's still not working. Let's get started. The first reason why you might not be growing is because your watch time is low. In order to find your watch time on TikTok go to your analytics. Uh Go to your analytics and then go to your recent posts and click on the analytic button to see what your watch time is. If your watch time is above 10 seconds long, it means your video is engaging and most often or not, it might be pushed to more pages. This video has around a 14 second watch time and it was pushed to a million viewers and I would consider this video going viral. Now, another video got a three second watch time and it only got a couple hundred views. So personally for me on my account with 110,000 followers, there's a direct correlation to how engaging your video is to how well it's going to perform. And honestly, it just makes common sense. TikTok is just a money making machine. So they want to push out content that makes users stay on the platform. So if your video is boring, unengaging and irrelevant, they're not going to promote it. A key way to fix your low watch time is a loopable content. For example, if you're doing like a dance, if you start your dance like this and you end your dance like this, then it will seamlessly connect from beginning to the end. So people want to rewatch it all over again because TikTok is all about seamless transitions and it just makes people get really engaged and captivated by just that simple loopable piece. I did this stupid lip syncing video a few months ago and my face was facing the left and at the end of the video I also faced the left. People liked how continuous it was and it got over 10,000 views by just me lip syncing which is insane. So if you're trying to grow your account try to figure out if there's any way to make your content more loopable. The second reason why you're not growing on TikTok is because your content is late. A lot of the time people find a trendy song and they hop on it when it's three days late and the reason why this is a problem is although if you're having fun, that's totally cool. But if you're trying to grow TikTok as a business or personal brand, hopping on a trend late can cause you to miss the boat and therefore you're gonna be drowned in all the competition and other creators. That's why hashtags and trends or audios that have more than like a million people in it can get really hard to compete. The best solution for this is to really figure out trends before it gets too, too big. The best way to do this is literally not to just sit on your For You page to find the next trend. Go to other creators that are mid-sized between 100,000 and a million and see See what songs are they creating. Go on their profile and look at their recent posts and see if there's any audio you haven't heard yet and use that audio in your next video. The key with this is the For You page is going to get you delayed content so you really want to be proactive on researching what audio trends you should use by finding mid-sized creators to research from. Because although I love hearing the song Renegade over and over again in my head, you know honestly it just gets a little repetitive so it's better just to be first than later. <laughs> right so the third reason why you could be stuck growing is because you're shadow Band. Now you might be wondering, Jade, what is shadow ban on TikTok? I've heard it before maybe on Instagram. I know it's a thing, but what does it mean on TikTok? Being shadow banned on TikTok basically means the platform TikTok is hiding your posts to appear on For You pages. And it's not fun. I personally ran accounts on TikTok for brands and I got shadow banned. Some of the posts we were creating for these accounts got zero views and we were trying hard. Like we were applying all the tips and we were still not able to get on the For You page. The For You page is basically how TikTok promotes your account. So it's literally one of the only ways to grow. TikTok hasn't released why they shadow banned and there's not really any information that's gonna be set in stone. So here's my perspective. I believe TikTok is just trying to prevent spammy and suspicious creators from destroying the platform. Now, what does that mean? For example, if you're someone that's trying to buy fake followers or like for like, or just post content that's maybe harming the platform in violent ways, TikTok is going to hide your posts because they feel like you're a threat to the platform. Now, this is not always is true. One of my friends has a TikTok account called The Sync. They have over 600,000 followers on TikTok and they're posting legit content that's not harmful to the community, but they're getting shadow banned and not appearing on the For You page. So it's sometimes out of your control. And these are the best tips I have to prevent it from happening. Although you can try your best, there's still chances it might not work. But by following these tips to prevent your account from getting shadow banned, it can at least give you a peace of mind that you're doing everything it takes to prevent yourself. The first thing to prevent yourself is to make sure you're not having more than three accounts 
accounts. Obviously, you can have multiple accounts on TikTok, but try your best not to like your post on another's account. TikTok does not like it when you have one account and you're trying to use it to like boost the other account. They feel like it's a suspicious activity and it's essentially cheating on the platform. So try your best not to do that if you have multiple accounts. The second thing is try not to give your account to too many people. I made this mistake. So obviously my company, we run accounts and go social media. So I gave some passwords of my TikTok accounts to people on my team. And eventually we kind of got in trouble because the activity we felt was causing TikTok to feel like we were a threat or trying to do suspicious activity. So really just trying to be careful about your login and where it's popping up is really important. Now, if you're doing everything right and you're still having issues with it, the last thing that could be causing TikTok to prevent your accounts from showing up is posting controversial content. Now, I know there's a clear issue in social media censoring us and the things we put out, but TikTok is trying to keep it safe. So if you're posting violent content, aggressive behavior, language that's a little bit more out there, you could get shadow banned. I personally experienced this. I had a post where I was cutting my hair and it was just scissors, right? But I was cutting my hair. It was basically deleted because TikTok didn't like that I was using scissors. And as stupid as it sounds, the next few weeks, my TikTok was kind of fucked. There was no growth for quite a bit of time and I was really frustrated. So sometimes these are out of your control and you really can't do much. But the good news is that shadow banning does get lifted over time. Time. If you get shadow banned, wait around a few weeks, things will get better. For my accounts, it took around two to three weeks to just start to see things moving back to normal or going back on the For You page. I kept looking at my analytics to see if there was any growth and it just took a while, but things do get better over time. So that's my biggest tip for shadow banning. And you just have to be patient because some videos can go really low, some can go really high, and that's just kind of how the platform currently is. So if you're experiencing that, it's completely normal. Don't you worry. Some of my friends with millions of followers on TikTok are experiencing the same thing. Now, before we go into the final few things, why your account is getting fucked, I want to go over a quick commercial break because I started a marketing podcast with my friend Max. So obviously I have a TikTok. Max also has a TikTok. We are both some of the top performing creators on TikTok in the business category. So make sure you guys check out our podcast we started together. We talk about TikTok marketing, all that fun stuff. So check out this quick little clip to see what you're missing out. Hey guys, welcome back to The Raisin Brand. You're here with Jade and Max. Say what's up, Max. Hi guys. Hi, Jade. Oh my gosh, it's so good to finally have you back. We're talking about OnlyFans today. If you guys don't know what OnlyFans is, it's a subscription content-based platform <laughs> where um, you can get really exotic hey, pictures. Hey, okay, well, I'll, and... I'm going to stop you right there. It's a platform, okay? You can use it as you please, right? Different people use Instagram for different reasons. Same with OnlyFans, but yeah, keep going. Anyways, so Max um, is going to get his first subscription to OnlyFans. Oh my god, I'm in. <laughs> Tana, I'm in. <laughs> Wait, uh, show me, show me, what show me, show do? me. do Subscribe for $15. What you the hell? Do it. Come on. Oh my god, okay. okay <laughs> Come I'm, on. I'm, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Again. Wait, oh, what? Okay. Um, okay. Oh, Sideshow. That's it? That's it. Oh my god, that's it. Not to do too much self promo, we're gonna go back into the video, but I do wanna say if you do rate our podcast five star on iTunes and you let us know you're from YouTube, it will mean the world. We'll share your posts, check you out on TikTok, and follow you maybe. So thank you guys so much for supporting the support for the podcast. Let's now go over more about why we're still getting no views. The fourth reason why you could be stuck is because your face is unfamiliar. Now, this is something that I just personally find is a struggle for beginning creators is when you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't even have an Instagram, and you're just starting starting on TikTok, it's extremely hard to build trust with a brand new audience. I had a YouTube following that I brought over to TikTok, so it really helped to grow the account I have today. But if you're starting from scratch, this can be really tough because you have no trust to build off of and it might be really difficult. My biggest tip is if your face is unfamiliar, what I would do is try to duet other creators and collaborate with other faces in the community. So if you're someone that has no friends in the industry, make a duet with Charlie D'Amelio and do a dance together. I've actually actually personally done this and they work pretty well. I did a video of me eating Taco Bell like Charlie D'Amelio and it got like 30,000 views and as stupid as it sounds, it does work to build that trust with a community that you might not know. Another idea is collaborating with other creators or recreating their TikToks. So my friend Jeremy Schlack created this trend of five foods you're eating that make you a child and it's the funniest thing ever. I created my version of it, I tagged him and after that we became really good friends. If you're someone that just has no idea how to grow, try to build association with 
other faces on TikTok and that will really help build trust with a cold audience and then grow. As a result, Jeremy's audience found my audience, my audience found his, and now you have a whole new group of people to connect with. Let me know if you guys would like a whole video about how to collaborate with other people. I will do that. Just comment below if that's something you like to see. All right, so the fifth and probably most important reason why you're not growing on TikTok is this. You are trying too hard. I hate to break it to you, but if you're trying too hard, spending hours thinking about TikToks, editing a bit too much, probably not using the platform for what it was intended to be created upon. TikTok is about entertainment. It's about fun, about being yourself. Not to say if you spend a lot of effort, you're not gonna get results, but sometimes overthinking about it and not being yourself can prevent you from growing. I've personally experienced this. Honestly, TikTok is a bunch of people that can smell bullshit. And if you're not being yourself, they're not going to care. And as weird as it sounds, being vulnerable, talking about your story, and just by not over editing it can actually help you grow your page. You might be very surprised to hear this, but I know you came to this video to find quick solutions to get your account back to normal or grow it to a million followers, but honestly, that's not the case. TikTok is extremely unpredictable. The algorithm is not in our control. And if you're trying to chase an algorithm, doing it all wrong, you want the algorithm to chase you. You wanna make such great content that the algorithm wants to promote it to people. Focus on delivering value, being funny, being yourself if that's what it takes to just stop focusing about the algorithm. It sounds so cheesy, but it's so true. Whenever I focus on getting a million views, I don't get it. Whenever I make a TikTok that's fun to me in the moment, I get a million views. So I hope this video makes you realize in a digital world where an algorithm dictates the success of your video, sometimes it's better off to not focus on algorithm, but making the algorithm focus on you. And you can do this by me just making good content or content that you personally love. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to if you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below if you like this video, comment below your TikTok. We can maybe do a little follow spree, support each other, and I will take any video suggestions you leave below. So leave a question. I can't wait to talk to you guys. Darmination, I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out the podcast, and I'll see you later.